Hello students, so here we are with another math problem which says 4 raised to power x is equal to 8 and we need to find the value of x. So this question can be solved using two methods. One is the exponent method and the other one is the log method. So we will first solve it using log method. So here 4 raised to power x equals 8. So taking log on both sides. We'll have log 4 raised to power x equals log of 8 or this can be written as x log 4 equals log of 8 or x equals log of 8 divided by log of 4 or we can write 8 as 2 cube in exponent form. Similarly, we can write 4 as 2 square. So that's going to be log 2 cube upon log 2 square or this can be written as 3 log 2 divided by 2 log of 2. So here log 2 and log 2 gets cancelled and we are left with x equals 3 by 2 or 3 upon 2. 3 upon 2 is the final answer. This is the value of x. So this we solved by using log method. Let's take a quick look at the solution. Now let's solve it using the exponent method. This is our second method. And this method is quite easy and simple and it can be done in 2-3 steps. So let's solve it. Our question is 4 raised to power x equals 8 and we need to find the value of x here. 4 can be written as 2 square in exponent form. So 2 square raised to power x equal 8 can be written as 2 cube. So on the left hand side, this will be 2 raised to power 2x equals 2q. This is by the law of exponent a raised to power m whole raised to power n equals a raised to power m times n. So the power inside the bracket gets multiplied by the power outside the bracket or the parenthesis. So now we have 2 raised to power 2x equals 2 raised to power 3. According to another law of exponents, when the bases are same as a raised to power m equals a raised to power n, then m will be equal to n. So the powers or the indices will be same. So this implies that 2x equals 3, which gives us the value of x equals 3 upon 2. This is our final answer. So this is how we solve these kind of problems. Let's take a quick look of both the methods. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.